episode of the best of 2013 and in this video I'm actually going to be talking about my favorite eyeshadows for this year um, excuse my very very low voice I'm still just recovering from a really bad like case of tonsillitis and fever and all that jazz and yeah I'm trying to just kind of keep it within me and not to kind of lose my voice again so anyway best eyeshadows I've got three palettes and um, a couple of uh, sort of eyeshadow stuff that I want to show you so if you're interested to see what my picks are for 2013 okay so I've got three eyeshadow palettes to actually show you but before I um, go into that I actually want to show you a couple of uh, glitter eyeshadows as you call it I'm um, actually a glitter liners um, but I use it as glitter eyeshadows and they are the NYX Liquid Crystals um, eyeshadows. I don't use this very often however when I do it's so much fun to actually work with so they are literally like specks of glitter and the good thing about this is that because it's supposed to be a liner it actually comes with the um, the glue or the adhesive at the same time so let me just show you so that's how it looks like as a liner, so when I actually use it as an eyeshadow, um, I usually use it on my eyelids and I would literally pack this glitter like on my eyelids like that. So it's really really um, cool. So this is the colour, this is in the colour Crystal Gold and this is how it looks close up. And the other colour that I have is this colour which is called Crystal Pewter which is a really really gorgeous colour. So similarly with the other one, it's actually an eyeliner but I literally just use it as an eyeshadow. So I literally like pack everything in there onto my eyelid and it would give this sort of effect. So it's a lot easier to actually use this as compared to your pigments or your loose glitter because this one already has the um, the glue that's included in it. So um, I get I actually got them from like sales that I've seen randomly in Singapore and these are twelve ninety each. So if you guys want to double with glitter eyeshadows, I highly recommend these to actually give you a good base, um, a good starting to your glitter journey. So. Moving on to the palettes, we are going to work from number 3 to 1, um, 1 being the best, like my favourite eyeshadows for this year. So the third in third place <laughs> is actually my Archie's Girls uh, MAC Collection eyeshadow. I actually have it on my eyelids today just because I'm wearing blue and I thought that it would actually go really well with it and it's a little bit smoked out with lots of purples and blues and um, in here you have like a greyish as well. So first of all, um, the reason why I love this is because of the packaging. I don't usually buy MAC um, eyeshadows because they're actually quite expensive. This was like $72 or $75 which is literally the same price as your like naked palettes and your low-rack palettes. So, um, but I bought it anyway because I'm a huge Archie's fan and I literally went there during the first day of the launch and snapped up as many things as I could and this was one of them. So first of all, the packaging is divine. I simply just love it. This is called the Spoiled Rich Eyeshadow Palette and it has four eyeshadows in This there. is how the colours actually look like. So you've got this one which is Pin Up Purple, Spoiled Rich, Run, 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 Run and Gravel. So I basically used these three colours today to achieve this eye look which is sort of like um, purplish, smoky, smoked out with a little bit of blue here. So I really like it. There were two palettes that were out. Um, the the one that is the Betty collection, I just felt like it wouldn't really go with my skin tone. So this one's really awesome. And the thing about this is that I actually expected MAC, I mean I don't have a lot of MAC eyeshadows but I kind of expected them to be a lot more pigmented. But these ones are not, um, so even though the colours may look a little bit scary to actually wear, wear it during the daytime, it's actually not. You can see that it's actually quite um, subtle, so I really built it up today to achieve this look. So this is the third favourite palette that Okay, I've so got. the second favourite palette that I have is my Lorac Pro palette. So I got this quite recently, um, I think towards the end of the year, I think around September, because I just wanted to get it because everybody was talking about it. It was either this or the Naked palette. I got this but eventually after that I got a naked palette as well um, and I even asked my friend Aura who's my Instagram friend from Indonesia whether she liked this and she highly recommends this so 
Lorac palette named after the founder whose name is Carol, so it's spelled backwards. And this is the L famous, famous Lorac Pro, bleh, famous, famous Lorac Pro palette. And I'm sure you guys have actually seen how it looks like, but this is just to show you a close up of the palette. So the reason why I like this palette is because it's got like a nice, di nice diverse color. So like. And also, like you get a lot more color variation as compared to the Naked palette, for example. You get 3, 6, you get a total of 16 eyeshadows. And all of them are very, very pigmented and they are very, very easy to work with. So it's one of those palettes whereby you can actually mix any of these colors and it will look great on your, um, on your skin. And this particular gold color is amazing. Like, it's just freaking amazing. So yeah, I haven't actually used this palette for a while because I'm actually experimenting with my newer palettes that I got um, for Christmas. But definitely a very very nice palette to reach out and to travel for. This color is also really really pretty. So yeah, just if you just want to have like smoky eyes and stuff like that, it's cool. And also this top row is entirely matte, and then this bottom row is frosty or shimmery. So I think that's why a lot of people like it because they want to have like it's got a good balance of matte and shimmer eyeshadows. Whereas for most palettes, they usually have more shimmer eyeshadows than your matte ones. So I really like that. And yeah, I'm actually going to be traveling soon. So I think I'm going to bring this along because it's just the most versatile one. Moving on I to have. palette number one okay. it is, surprise, surprise, my new tube palette from The Balm. So the reason this is number one is simply just because I use this a lot more um, throughout the year. And I got the other two, I actually got them, like, I got them at a later part of I can't find my words today okay so I didn't get them as early as this one I've had this since like last year so I have not been able to experiment with the other two as much as this and I just absolutely love this palette I actually have two of these palettes one that I keep in my house now and another that I keep at my parents house because just in case I actually need to put on makeup there I have a backup of this there that's how much I love this so um, in terms of the palette you guys know that um, this is supposed to be sort of similar like you know these palettes palettes like the Lorac and the Balm, they're supposed to be like your neutral colored palettes that you use on a, a, a daily basis. So I really really like this. I've, I really just love mixing the colors. It doesn't have a lot of matte colors. The only matte colors there is is um, the sultry color which is usually my transition color and then these darker colors are your matte colors as well. But in terms of pigmentation, amazing pigmentation when it comes to the frosty ones and I love using them as uh, my eyelid color. So for example this color called standoffish, like that's how the frosty pink looks like. Like how beautiful is that? It's very very pretty and it's an all-in-one palette like it has like a brow brow bone. Yeah a brow color brow highlight color and stuff like that. So yeah that's my favorite and um yeah, nothing much to say, but it's a pretty, pretty easy palette to work with. And I think since its launch, um, you can get this in Sasa. And since its launch, it has been, you know, dropping in its price. So I think the last time when I went to Sasa, I saw that it was selling for only like 40 plus. When um, the, I think the usual price of this was about 70-ish, I think, but now it's, they're selling it for 40 plus. So if you're interested to find a good neutral palette, I highly suggest for you to actually um, check this out. Just because it's got more like varieties in terms of a pink is a pink, um, as, it, as compared to the Naked palette whereby it's all kind of the similar color, but these ones have a lot more variety to it. So yeah, that's my top pick for eyeshadows. And before I go, I just want to kind of um, share with you um, a very important product that I use together with my eyeshadows and it's basically my primer. So the only primer that I've basically been using this year, um, other than you know some random ones which I get as samples, is my MAC Painterly Paint Pot. And this is uh, a very very famous eyeshadow base and I really like it because um, it actually acts as a concealer even if you're not using any kind of eyeshadow you can actually put it on your eyelids as a concealer and then also it doesn't make my eyeshadows crease as compared to the other ones like the Urban Decay ones which I used to use but I don't anymore because this is a lot better and even though it's a little bit pricey um, I can't remember how much it was but it was not as cheap as your Urban Decay but I've literally used it for a year and a half thereabouts and I'm still kind of like 
I still haven't even hit half of this but keep in mind that I only use eyeshadows like during the weekends when I feel like dressing up so yeah that's uh, I highly recommend this and also the ladies were saying that even if you have loose pigments or glitter this is actually a base that's strong enough that's supposed to be able to hold so it. those are my picks for the top eyeshadows of 2013 um, these are the shadows that I've really enjoyed using so I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, if you have any questions or comments do leave it in the comments box down below and till I see you in my next video bye bye take care